today we are going to start one new relation that is relation between kinetic energy and momentum so it's a very very important relation which helps the students in solving number of numericals if you learn the relationship between kinetic energy and momentum then it will be very easy for you to solve so many numericals in a easier way first of all you have to understand the basic concept between the relationship first of all we will take the kinetic energy definition kinetic energy definition what is it it is the energy possessed due to its motion that means energy possessed due to its motion is called kinetic energy so relation for kinetic energy equal to half m v square m for mass and v for velocity of the body with which it is moving now the second definition is momentum you will have one for it momentum momentum it is the product of product of mass and velocity so that means relation for it is for momentum stands for p p equal to mv p stand for momentum and m stand for mass and v stand for velocity so these are the two definitions which i have stated on the board and from these two definitions and two relations i will derive a relationship between kinetic energy and momentum first of all let me take one from one multiply and divide by m so see kinetic energy equal to half m v square multiply by m and similarly divide by m what you will get half m v whole square over m that means you will get m v square over 2 m so now what is the value of m v from 2 we will have momentum equal to product of mass and velocity we will use instead of this from to kinetic energy is equal to p square over 2m that means p square over 2m m is also constant 2 is also constant we will have the relationship kinetic energy directly proportional to square of momentum this is the relationship between momentum and kinetic energy if the kinetic energy is increased definitely momentum will also increased if momentum is doubled kinetic energy will also be doubled for this this is the relationship that means they are directly proportional to each other if you have this relationship how we can derive the relationship then only you will be able to solve the numericals which are coming in the icsc and cbsc board examination that means numericals are coming related to these topics thank you